Hello everybody and welcome back with CAC. Now this video here is going to be for something that I've been wanting to do for a while now um, and I've actually managed to get a hold of it. It's the uh, Maruchan um, instant ramen uh, bowls. Um, I've seen them advertised before and I managed to get hold of uh, these two here. These are the Kitsune and the Tonuki flavours. Um, which is, we've got fried tofu here, and this one here is a tempura. And other than that, I'm not entirely sure what goes into them. All I know is that uh, I wanted to try them and try something new. So that's what's going to be featured in this video here. Um, I think I'm going to start off with the Kitsune one. So we'll go and prepare that one, get the water in, let it settle, and then we'll do a tasting of it. Okay, so I'll uh, see you in a few minutes. And we have the finished pot of noodles here. Uh, first thing I noticed when I made this up is that uh, the pot itself is uh, insulated, uh, which made it a lot easier to pick up and carry compared to most cup noodles I've done before. Um, but yes, uh, once it opened up, there was um, a little sachet which had the flavouring in it, which is, I believe, a soy sauce flavour with spring onion, and it also has a little sachet of um, ground red pepper to sprinkle on top. But um, I've done that, and I've let it uh, soak. Mm. Okay, so these ones... Ooh, i just get all the condensation off there. Uh, these are the udon noodles, which are considerably thicker and chewier than most uh, instant ramen I've seen. Here we are, it's made up into a nice noodly broth. And on the top there we have the um, fried tofu. Uh, can't say I've had too much experience with tofu before, but. Uh, there we go, there's, a, there's an opportunity to try it. Oop, I can just pick it up there. Let's give it a bite. Mm. Mm. It's a, a rather unusual sweet flavour. Um, not something I'd usually expect of uh, a savoury dish. Um, it's not bad, but um, hmm, I'm not not sure I'm keen on that myself. Give it a, another little bite. No, not personally personally a fan of the tofu. I don't think um, don't think I'm going to take to that personally. <laughs> I gave it a try, but um, not my thing. Uh, let's try the um, whoop, the noodles themselves. They are quite thick, you can see. So let's have some of this. Mm. Yeah, the broth itself is also quite sweet from the flavour of the tofu. But, um, yeah, it is um, soy sauce fa flavoured broth there, so that's what the um, main base of it is. Oop. Oop. Again, very thick, chewy noodles there. But um, yes, uh, that's it overall for that one. Um, <clears throat> uh, an interesting taste, and I'm glad that I tried it, um, because again, it's not something I often have the opportunity to try. But um, as it is, I'm not too keen on it. So I don't think I'll be going for this one again in future. But um, I shall make my way through the noodles. <laughs> but um, I have at least discovered that I am not a fan of tofu, so never mind, a learning experience. But, um, uh, 
Okay, and now we're back for another noodle meal time, this time with the tanuki flavour. Uh, let's open it up and take a look inside and see what we have in here. Okay, that's our uh, flavouring packet there. And then, there we go, that's the uh, tempura that goes with it. Looks like fried beans and all sorts in there, I don't know what it is exactly. But uh, yep, let's go and pop the water in that and then we'll be back in a few minutes to give it a taste. So uh, see you soon. Okay, so that is done. We've uh, filled it up with water and left it to soak. So let's take off the rest of the lid. It said that the... the uh, soup base is uh, soy sauce powder um, but I think it might also be miso because there is a very strong miso like smell and also uh, a strong fishy smell to it as well which uh, is on top of the soy sauce there we go Got that there. the tempura has softened up a little and uh, here we are, the noodles are soba noodles, which I generally prefer to udon. But again, that is a rather strong smell. I'm not sure whether I'll like it too much, but uh, you know, that's what these things are for, to try new things and see what they taste like. So uh, let's give it a go. Something of an odd taste. I can't really compare it to anything I've tasted before, other than maybe miso. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of miso. I'm trying to get used to it, you know, uh, trying to get used to new tastes and new palates, but. Mm. I wouldn't say it's bad. But because it's something I'm not used to, my head is kind of going, ooh, what's that? <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's not, it's not a bad flavour, just a new one. And, oh. Hmm, the tempura is nice. I think... I think that would probably be better if I didn't leave it to soak so that it remained crispy and crunchy, but otherwise that's good. I like that. I like that better than the uh, fried tofu from the Kitsune one. So... I think overall, out of the two noodle flavours, I do much prefer the tanuki to the uh, kitsune. Mm. But, again, it might be a matter of just getting used to flavours. Because it's a whole new palette and a whole new range of flavours that I'm just not used to. So, maybe, in time, if I keep up doing these tastings and getting used to new flavours, then maybe I'll um, develop a liking for it in the end, but, uh... hmm. but let's not get ahead of ourselves. So yes, well, that's it for the two Marachan flavours. I do very much prefer the Tanuki to the Kitsune, and I think I'll try and look into different versions of these because even if they don't taste different to each other then that will at least be like um, sort of building up my um, I wouldn't say tolerance for it but uh, building up a taste for it let's put it that way so um, yeah that's it for those two and um, 
maybe we'll soon see more from those uh, two flavours in future. So, uh, eyes peeled, I guess. Okay, so to finish up this video as a little bit of a bonus, I was able to get a hold of um, one of the flavours that was done by Frito-Lay. Uh, basically, they're kind of like um, the bigger version of Walkers, if you know Walkers in the UK. And they've done a flavour in uh, collaboration with Maruchan of um, <coughs> the Maruchan noodles. Uh, you can get uh, these um, tortilla chips of the kitsune flavour and there was also um, popcorn flavoured like the tanuki but unfortunately I was a unable to get a hold of that one. I very nearly did thinking there was one left in stock but unfortunately there wasn't so uh, I wasn't able to get a hold of that. But I have got the um, kitsune flavour here. So let's see what it's like in comparison to the noodles. That's quite the uh, tight seal on there. Let's give it a go. Hmm, can't really smell anything on it, which is unusual. But uh, let's take a look. Square shaped chips there, much like the um, fried tofu in the kitsune, and let's give them a bite. Mmm! They're quite nice. Um, they're not as strong as sort of like the noodle bowl itself, which the flavour I found to be quite overpowering, which is why I found that I couldn't finish it. Um, but it's definitely there. Yeah. The flavour is definitely in there, but not as strong. So, yeah, I quite like these. Hmm. <laughs> maybe, maybe little bags like this is um, the way of building myself up to the flavours so that I can enjoy the noodle bowls. <laughs> or at least it would be if these weren't uh, a limited edition flavour and you're now unable to get them. So, um, never mind, eh? But, uh, hmm. yeah, surprisingly good, surprisingly good taste. But, um, much like the noodles themselves, they are starting to become a little overpowering, so I don't think I'll be finishing the whole bag in one go. But I think I will definitely come back to them because it's uh, just the right intensity of flavour and uh, very unique as well. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, definitely commend them for doing that. Um, if only walkers over here were to do um, more adventurous flavours, but uh, I suppose we're just stuck with our standard flavoured Doritos. Never mind. <laughs> okay, and that is it for the Marichan flavours. Um, Really, I just tried them because I had seen them before, you know, I'd uh, recognised them um, from browsing around and knowing um, that they were, you know, quite a big brand. And when I spotted them when I was out about shopping, of all places, uh, I just thought I'd grab them because, you know, it's just one of those opportunities you go for. You see something that you recognise that you didn't think you'd ever come across. So, I gave it a try. Um, not particularly my, to my taste. Um, I don't think I'd go out of my way to get them again, even though I did kind of like the tanuki. I don't think I liked it enough to actually go out and get any more of them. Um, but if uh, they turn up in any of my mystery boxes or uh, lucky bags any time in the future, then I at least know that uh, I've tried the flavours, so I am somewhat familiar with them. And all I can really say is... Um, go out and try them for yourself, because I really can't describe them in any way that um, I can liken them to anything. They are very unique flavours that you just have to try for yourself. So uh, I suppose just trust me on it and uh, give it a go and see what you think. And 
If you um, like them, don't like them, maybe you can, can do a better job of describing the flavour, then maybe leave a comment down below and let me know. Or if there are any other ramen that uh, you know the flavour of, or you have tried before and you think, oh, you should give this one a go, it's uh, good slash bad, um, then yeah, go ahead and feel free to suggest them. But uh, that's it for this one, that's it uh, <coughs> all for today. So thank you for joining me, and thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Leave a comment on video with your thoughts and what you'd like to see. If you like my stuff, hit subscribe and help hit my channel's goals. And don't forget to share, tell your friends, and help me hit my current sub goals so I can give back to you guys too. See you next time.